Hello, PPS Secondary Families. Michael Pasco, Assistant Superintendent, wanted to give you an update as to where we are with our middle and high school instructional programming. Our current COVID-19 rates in our county have challenged our community to make difficult decisions and sacrifices. Because this is new territory for all of us, we spent the last couple of months collecting data from our families and staff to ensure we're able to make the best decisions possible as we move forward. This includes paying close attention to marking period one failure rates, the effectiveness of our support services, and the social emotional well-being of our students and staff. We know that in order for changes to our instructional secondary model to occur, planning would need to start now for the second semester. Our survey showed that approximately 50% of our secondary families would prefer their students to engage in face-to-face -face instruction. The other half would like to remain virtual. We heard both teacher and parent concerns around the hybrid model we explored and decided to remove that as a primary option moving forward. You also told us that if we were to make any changes that you would prefer the change to occur at the start of second semester. We want you to know that your feedback was valued and was a key part of our decision to recommend changes to our preparedness plan to the Board of Education on November 9th. At the next board meeting on November 23rd, our trustees will vote on the recommendations that were presented at the last board meeting. Our recommendation was to prepare us for a shift in our secondary instructional model to offer our families both face-to-face -face and fully virtual PPS options starting second semester. This is all predicated on our external environment and if the local health department data supports the shift at that time. We will continue to assess our ability to make this change by using a matrix which takes into consideration the Michigan regional phases, new cases in our county, and current outbreaks in PPS relating to both staff and students. The matrix looks at local factors for short-term closure with numeric and qualitative value that will help to ensure the safety of students and staff. Students that would like to return face-to-face -face second semester would have the opportunity to gauge in a four days per week face-to-face -face instruction Monday through Thursday with Fridays being asynchronous from home. We will follow the usual seven period day with extended passing times and additional lunch sections to meet the 50% square footage requirement in our non-fixed seating areas. As for student expectations, face masks will be required indoors as well as for staff. They will also be expected to help sanitize their own learning area by wiping down their own desk and chair with the appropriate and safe PPE provided in each classroom. In regards to our other mitigation strategies, we may move hallways and stairways to one direction to limit exposure to one another. We will follow the recommended requirements of phase four and follow a systematic cleaning and disinfecting schedule during the school day. Frequently touched surfaces would undergo cleaning at least every four hours, and we will most likely have assigned seating in our cafeterias and designated eating areas. Face-to-face -face courses will be limited to approximately 22 students and virtual sections could have up to 40. Student numbers will be difficult to predict prior to families making selections, but we will work to hold the overall teacher caseloads at equitable and appropriate levels. For those who wish to remain as virtual learners, we will follow the same schedule and approach as we do currently, with four days of synchronous live learning and Fridays, students working asynchronously from home. Fridays for both instructional modes would be dedicated to professional learning communities for our teachers, time for planning, student intervention, support, and connecting both our virtual and face-to-face -face students as needed. The KVIC option through KRISA will continue to be offered, which is also a semester commitment. Regardless of modality, all students are considered enrolled in Portage Public Schools with access to our resources and extracurricular activities. With this recommended change, all students that are in a course would be in the same mode of instruction, either virtually or face-to-face, -face, for the entire semester. We may have to utilize teachers from other secondary buildings within PPS to offer courses. There may be courses where it's necessary to utilize a hybrid or high flex model in order to offer the course. This means there may be a few courses that students in both face-to-face -face and virtual modalities would attend together. We may also need to utilize some online courses through Michigan Virtual and E2020 
as part of the master scheduling process. In order for us to prepare successfully for a transition second semester, we will need families to select either the face-to-face -face in classroom or the PPS virtual option and commit to their selection for the semester. We cannot guarantee that every course students are currently enrolled in will be available in both modes, as there may be restrictions as we develop our middle and high school master schedules. We are committed to providing all of the necessary classes to graduate under a student's current program, such as IB, EMC, CTE, EFE, and EFA. In regards to our timeline, we will await board approval on the recommended changes at the next board meeting. We will continue to develop our face-to-face -face and virtual instructional models, and if the proposed changes are approved, families will be sent a selection form for each of their students from our Skyward system. The selection window would run through December 2nd. Once the family selection forms have been completed and received, the scheduling process would begin early December into January, working through student schedule modifications and staffing assignment adjustments where necessary. The remainder of January would be dedicated to semester course and class modifications, professional learning, and any revisions or development of our PPS curriculum. We thank you for your patience and understanding as we navigate our way through the 2021 school year. The last nine months have been difficult and have challenged us all in many different ways. Take care of yourselves and those around you as we wish you a safe and healthy upcoming holiday break.